Hello and good evening. This is Åsa with another pr scrapbooking process video. Today I am making the 11th um, challenge uh, part of the Victoria Marie Facebook group challenge 12 layouts of Christmas. And today the prompt was to make a mixed media page all about myself. And uh, I decided to uh, use a photo uh, that I printed out on our uh, office computer, uh, office uh, printer, and uh, the quality of that printer is really, really bad. But I thought that if I uh, messed up the photo even more, uh, that uh, wouldn't be a problem. So I printed the photo and I adhered it onto uh, thick cardstock or almost like cardboard. And then I covered the entire photo with uh, crackle accent. And the crackle accent is just like the uh, glossy accent, but when it dries, it crackles. And uh, it's super cute. I wrote you a message there. there. <laughs> this will take forever to dry, and it did. <laughs> this is a stencil. I think it's from Heidi Swap. It's uh, a bit pretty old and uh, it's self-adhesive so uh, it, uh, it's, um, it stays in place while you paint and I use a paintbrush and some s black uh, acrylic paint to make black dots like a border on my uh, page. The background is a pattern paper that I have painted with two layers of gesso uh, before so it's been in my in my stash just waiting for this moment this is uh, another t stencil it's from uh, Tim Holtz and it's got some uh, rays and I will um, color them in with uh, three different uh, paint daubers and uh, then I will use the excess paint on the template to give some more color to the other areas of the uh, page. Then uh, my recording stopped and uh, I will try and explain what I've done this far. I have cut uh, up one of those really old basil um, border strips. It was pink and I uh, rounded the edges where I had cut and I glued it with gesso onto my page. Then I stamped uh, with uh, my homemade chevron stamp uh, in red acrylic paint at the lower left uh, right corner and then I sprayed with black uh, dilutions ink. Uh, I'm still a bit inexperienced with the dilution inks and uh, I will not uh, spray that ink this early in the process again because the the ink reacted very much with the ghetto that I then applied up uh, on top of it. Now I'm painting with some uh, Neo Color 2 uh, crayons and uh, um, gelatos in different colors uh, randomly across the page. I'm sorry, I had to stop the recording. My voice is still quite a mess. When I had uh, uh, just applied the colors that I wanted, I sprayed the whole layout with my mini mister with uh, reg regular water, and I just uh, um, um, tried to blend the colors with my finger uh, over the page. And. Uh, Still, this looks like just a big mess, but just wait and see, it will become better. I have a, a rag, it's an old towel that I use to clean off some paint uh, that is uh, still pooling on the page after I've dried it. Now I am applying some modeling paste, and uh, before I put it on the page, I will color it in two different colors. I will be using mainly my uh, um, uh, 
paint daubers from Rangers, Ranger and I'm mixing it on a piece of parchment paper. I will uh, uh, continue with the fall colors or the, the red and oranges and yellow on this page because that's what I set out to, to do. To give the more yellow uh, version of the modeling paste a little bit more uh, shine and a, a little bit more uh, yellow color, I add some more acrylic paint in, uh, in yellow, two different kinds really. And I, I think the difference turned out really nice. I'm using a um, stencil with uh, uh, coffee cup uh, stain marks and some splatters and I will randomly uh, place these patterns all over the, the layout. I will also use the excess paint to stamp that onto the page as well. And I'm just making a, a very big mess and I'm loving every minute of it. It's been really really fun to work on this layout. And I try to use up all the paint. I know that I can go back and dry it off with my towel if it turns out to be too much. When I had used the yellow paint and the, the rings, I move on to the more uh, brownish uh, modeling paste and I will use another part of the stencil, the one that looks more like um, uh, splatters. And I will paint that with lots of uh, my modeling paste uh, all over the the page. The two uh, different um, colors uh, isn't showing that much at this point, but later on the two uh, different colors will uh, help to give this um, layout somewhat of a, a gold feeling. The different, the different colors um, make the, the, the gold <laughs> appear, even though I haven't added any gold or metallic paint on this, um, on this layout. Now I took the layout down to my box on the floor and I sprayed it with a lot of Tattered Angel Shark Mist and uh, in white. And I think the effect of the shark mist was just wonderful. It toned down the colors without uh, having to use heavy uh, gesso or, or watered down gesso which is still uh, really heavy. Now I'm going over the uh, page with a baby wipe and I'm removing the paint that I think is uh, too much. This process is filmed over uh, several hours really and uh, now that uh, photo <laughs> has dried and uh, I cut it out from the paper and the uh, cardboard and uh, it looks almost like a piece of vintage super old uh, photos those on the glass plates and I try to make it look even more old and uh, um, distress it with some more uh, ink, brown ink. Now it's time to place this uh, photo onto this page and uh, first I thought I would mat it onto burlap but it became just too heavy. heavy. So I cut a tiny strip and uh, just uh, placed the photo on it like a shelf. And this is also the first time ever I've been using a parchment paper, the one that you use on, on in the oven when you cook, uh, on my layouts. And I am layering a couple of pieces behind my photo. And uh, when I try to adhere it with my uh, double-sided adhesive, it doesn't stick. <laughs> of course it doesn't. So I need to use my hot glue gun. And I really don't know why I haven't been using my hot gl gl glue gun in my scrapbooking before, because it's really good and it really sticks. So if you want something to stay forever, you got to, to use uh, this. I crumble up the papers a bit more to 
uh, give them some more uh, dimension and also the little shadow that the creases uh, make. I get uh, rather um, messy all the time on my fingers because uh, some something on the layout is is uh, still um, rubbing off. Uh, I think it's uh, the the ink still. Uh, I I regret using the the uh, dilution uh, spray ink. It was uh, really messy and it didn't stick. I'm uh, placing a couple of small pieces of that parchment paper. Uh, behind the photo where I thought they I had gaps. <laughs> I will chalk the edges of the whole page and it uh, made a really nice um, uh, border because uh, to the ed to the outer edges of the, of the page the, the color was getting a bit thin and a lot of the uh, white gesso still showed through so I, I thought it was important to, to give this uh, a little bit of a uh, distressed um, edge. I take out a pack of uh, um, thickers and I spell live love scrap just by the photo. And beneath it I uh, write some tiny journaling about uh, this uh, 2014 that has almost passed now and uh, how much it has meant to me in my scrapbooking and uh, I have uh, come a long way if I may say so myself and as a finishing touch I am uh, just sprinkling some of that uh, ink onto the corners of the layout and here are some still photos. You can see the glow effect of that many different orange and yellow uh, tones and how much the stress the photo is. You also see the chevron stamp that I have been using. I really hope that you've enjoyed this process video. It was a really fun layout to make. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. This is Osa. Bye.